Okay, just a quick update here. I know some of you were having issues using the embed the web feature, and I had recommended one option would be to save your Venn diagram as a JPEG, but I've got one other option that I'll offer for you. So you've created your Venn diagram in the same way that Mary had showed you, and then you go over here to File, make sure that you're going into File, and you're going to choose Publish to the Web. And the advantage of doing that is that if we can embed this, notice the embed code shows up here, the advantage to doing this this way is that if you edit the Venn diagram and you've embedded it, it should update. So um, we've got the image size as a medium size. You may want to go small. I'll leave it medium in this case. I did notice I had to resize when I played with it. So let's copy that embed code. And I'm going to close that. I had already started to publish that, by the way. So I'm going to go back over to Haiku, and I only am playing with my All About Me here. So I'm going to add a content block. And instead of using the Embed the Web, because we have an embed code and it makes sense, another way to do this, and this is actually something that would serve you very well in any online uh, editor, I'm going to do on-page text. And I'm going to call this thing my Venn diagram. Now, here's the trick. First of all, block placement down here at the bottom. Some of you may or may not be aware of this. Under block placement, I can say, I want this thing to go at the bottom of column one. So that's helpful there. Up here, notice my options. I, I have a limited toolbar. But what I want to do is, I, wanna, I don't need to expand it, but just so you remember, if I click more, I get the full toolbar. And I'm using Firefox here for my Mac friends. And what I want to do is I want to use this, this concept called source. And what that means is, and if you'll notice, I'm going to scroll into this. These open arrows or carrots or whatever you want to call it, that's universal sign for HTML code. And guess what code we grabbed when we did embed? We, yes, we grabbed the HTML code. So I'm going to hit this. And now what it's allowing me to do is it's allowing me, now it, it's in a mode, and it's kind of odd, this editor you see is, is called a WYSIWYG editor, which stands for what you see is what you get. Um, it allows me to put in an embed code, and it will read it as HTML code, not just as text. If I did not use source, I could still paste this code in here, but it would just treat it as regular text. So watch what happens when I click off a of source. It falls right in the universe. I should see my Venn diagram. There it is. Now, I noticed when I used this in the center block, it came in a little big. I had to scroll. So I'm going to click on the image, and I can just simply edit this by dragging the image a little smaller. I drag it a little bit smaller. So somewhere about half the size of my window. Notice, obviously, my Venn diagram doesn't have the assignment in it, but yours would. And then I'm going to click Save. And if all is right in the universe, what you see down here is your Venn diagram. Now the beauty of that is, if I were to come over here to the Venn diagram, and I were to add text, and I'm doing this completely blind, may or may not be true, I'm going to hit, I always hit refresh, just to double check, I've added text, I won't come over here, now notice, nothing up this sleeve, nothing up this sleeve. If it is indeed doing what I want it to do, I'm just going to refresh the page. And I should see the word text. There you have it. No magic there, folks. Just HTML and Google playing well together. So that is why we wanted to use the publish to the web and embed in case you need to go back and fix it. You can also, anytime you do a drawing, you can go over here to File, and instead of publishing to the web, one of your other options is download. You can download it as a PDF document, as a vector graphic, as a PNG image, or a JPEG image, and I believe you are all pretty savvy enough to know what to do with images. I really love the fact that uh, Ellen figured that out on her own, too. So um, that's sort of the whole point of technology here. It doesn't always work like it's supposed to, and sometimes we have to do little workarounds and the more you play with it the more the workarounds will make sense to you so hopefully that helps I am just gonna put this in the discussion board and um, yeah hope it helps let me know if you have any questions